Welcome to Thinking the Dragon Day here at Math Awareness Month. Thinky and his visual illusion friends are examples of what we call the hollow face illusion. And the hollow face is a beautiful example of how math principles can be used to fool your brain into believing something that can't possibly be true. This video is about how the underlying math powers these visual illusions. But before we talk about the illusions themselves, we've got to talk about human perception. Our brains want to classify objects to fit with what we understand already, and then to assume that what we know is going to continue to happen. This saves a lot of brain energy. All we have to do as we go about the world is to keep tabs around the fringes to make sure that nothing bad or scary is happening. The good illusionist uses math and other tools to design objects that can be interpreted in several different ways. Math tends to be very good at this, and it's at its best with the hollow face illusion. Don't you think so, Thinky? Okay, let's look at several examples now. As humans, we can be easily fooled by ambiguous images. We can be fooled by visual distance cues. Here, the use of perspective geometry makes it look like a big monster is chasing a small one, when actually, they're the same size. One of the most famous illusions of this type is the Necker cube. Your brain naturally wants to interpret this as a cube, even though it is actually seeing a two-dimensional drawing on a piece of paper or screen. When your brain goes to choose, there are two equally good choices for which way the cube could be facing. Now definitely there's math here involved setting up this imagery, but the main idea is that we can create this illusion of depth through design cues, the actual image is flat. No question that we can do very mathematical things with this kind of ambiguity. <clears throat> here is an image of the famous Penrose Triangle, but if it's a static image on a two-dimensional sheet of paper or screen, we can figure that nothing mathematically active, active is happening here. The dominant theme is what is happening inside the brain. Today, though, we're talking about hollow face illusions. Here is an Albert Einstein life mask. We can see the famous Einstein look, both in the positive normal mask image, and also when we look into the hollow back of the mask, the negative image. The hollow mask is no longer about representing a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional surface. Now the object itself exists in three dimensions. This makes a huge difference. The way a hollow mask illusion gets you is by convincing your brain that it is looking at a positive convex image when in fact you're looking at a negative concave image. Take a look at this drawing. When you're looking straight on at a symmetrical mask out of one eye, the perspective geometry lines up so that you're essentially getting the same view of the object whether it's facing you or facing away. Your brain gets a choice of which interpretation to make. And if, the look, and if the look of the illusion is convincing, it will always choose the normal convex face. That's the psychology part. The illusion tricks you to think that your background is your foreground and your foreground is your background. And why is this important? Enter the math. The illusionist can now take advantage of the principles of motion parallax. So just what is motion parallax? As an observer moves perpendicularly across a scene that contains foreground and background objects, the foreground objects will change their viewing angles faster than the further out objects do. This creates the impression that they're moving faster across the scene. The truth is that you're the only one really moving here, but you can use parallax geometry and the changes that occur with it to learn lots of things about depth and your environment. Motion parallax is good for all kinds of things, including measuring the distances of stars and galaxies. It's very mathematical and it's very reliable. It's so reliable, in fact, that our brains really count on it. Foreground always moves faster than background. Our brains know this better than anything, pretty much. Except that with the hollow face illusion, as I said before, what you think is foreground is really background and vice versa. So when you move sideways, your parallax motion receptors get all screwed up. Everything you think you should be seeing actually looks to be inverted and moving in the opposite direction from what you expect to see. This is where the crazy thing happens. Your brain really wants to believe that the face it's looking at is a normal, positive image face. And it can make the math work for this. All it has to do is suspend its assumption that the object is stationary, that it's just sitting there. If your brain is okay that the face will jump up on its own and rotate right along, right along with you, then your brain thinks that's just fine. It can make it work. The laws of parallax motion make everything look like they're moving in the opposite direction as expected and at the exact opposite speed than expected. We call this effect reverse motion parallax. It's the illusion principle that's at the heart of the hollow face. 
Now let me take you on a demonstration of this so that you can see it with your own eyes. One of the PDF downloads we want you to print out and make yourself is a letter block. This is about as simple as it gets. I've gone ahead here and made two letter blocks. I folded one of them into a positive cube and the other into a negative hollow cube. I'm twirling each of these cubes the same amount of rotation in the same direction. You can see for yourself that they appear to move opposite from each other. This is what I'm talking about. This is reverse motion parallax. This is the math behind the hollow face illusion right here in your hand. You can try it for yourself. Okay then, we're going to finish up by looking at Thinky as he spins around in positive and negative image. Your activity for the day is to download one of these illusions that we've got for you and try it for yourself. We're offering the letter block that I showed you. We're offering a great little spaceship that makes an amazing illusion. We've got a rubber ducky and, of course, the original Thinky right here yourself. You can try any of them. You can try all of them. You'll get the math right in your hand. Have fun with this. Happy Math Awareness Day.